This video was shot in April of 2021, this past spring. It shows our, I call it our pallet path, out to our backyard. We needed this uh, in order to stay out of the mud after rains and also, well, most of the spring because the uh, snow melt. If we wanted, we needed, if we wanted to get out to the back part of our property and back to our, our raised garden beds to start preparing for planting. Now we had a crew scheduled to come in and build our garage and also put down landscape pavers around the garage. We thought it would be nice to get rid of our pallets and even have a nice sitting area out back. Here, the dirt area in the middle between the grass would be filled in with topsoil when the truck path was no longer needed. But I still want it to be above the watery spots when the snows melted. Thus, I still wanted a path. Step one was to remove the pallets. There were about 14 of them and they were placed end to end. The length of the new pathway was to be about 22 meters, leading to a three meter by three meter um, kind of place to sit. So here's the bare path before work began. Okay, here they are starting with the digging for the path. Out in the grassy area, what they are digging up is nice black topsoil that I just laid down last year when I planted all that grass. So they're putting in a pile for me to use elsewhere in the yard. You can see that they use strings stretched out to control the direction and the depth, and that's after they set these strings using a transit. Here you can see that they're finished with the digging, but they do need to put in the borders for the path. Truck arrives with the borders and they start to install them. Now our contractor is good at having materials delivered just at the time that they are needed. He doesn't like to have stuff in the way prior to that. So just using those stretch strings, he sets each border in concrete and has them all perfectly in line and level with each other. After that, he puts down more concrete to give them strength. First, they lay down a sand bed and they compact it. Then, they lay down landscaping fabric and finally a layer of small compactable gravel. The entire path must now be compacted and the finished height must be the thickness of one paving block from the gravel to the top of the border. Here they begin to install the pavers on the path. One person lays them out and the other person runs back and forth for more pavers. They are now finishing with the installation of the pavers, but this part is not very quick because so many need to be cut and trimmed to fit. And here's our little walkway. I swept a little bit of it and 
the rest of it I haven't, but as I mentioned, it really needs a good rainstorm. So this connects right to the existing skirt to the house. It's kind of nice. It's like elevated a little bit. You can walk out here to the very back of the property. And you can see we have a couple of chaise lounges, a, a grill sitting out here. And I've already spent many hours relaxing in a chaise lounge during the day. The weather's been really hot here lately. So I've kicked back and enjoyed myself back here and my wife also. That's what we wanted it for. Garden starting to ripen up. Well, anyhow, that's uh, the paver work that was done. The landscaping, as you can see, has not been done yet. That's going to be done by me, but I need some nice, beautiful new topsoil brought in. A couple big, huge trucks, about 20 cubic meters, so more than 20 yards. Here on this side of the garage is where I decided to use the nice topsoil that they dug up while making my path. First, of course, I need to clean the area up. Okay, that topsoil that you saw piled up before, now it's been spread around and the new grass I planted is already starting to sprout up. This is our path now, just before the winter sets in, now meaning in November. More of the grass sprouted up, but now it's time for it to go back to sleep and sprout up with a vengeance come spring. For comparison, here's a photo taken from the same vantage point early in the spring of this year. And when I say this year, I mean 2021. I think I like it better now. Thank you for watching my video till the end. If you enjoyed this video and aren't subscribed, please subscribe. Also hit the little bell to make sure that you're notified each time I release a new video. Pressing like also helps me out with YouTube and comments are, comments are appreciated. I mean, comments also let me know that people are watching the videos and I'm happy to answer most questions. So let's talk.